All right, welcome back. New day, new video. Today is the day I've been waiting for for ages. If you remember, in the last videos a while back, I was talking about doing a C18 swap into my MX-5. Now, I can actually start that swap hopefully today, as in start the process of it. Sad thing is the Civic's going in the bin today, so the scrap is, man, is gonna come with a big old truck, collect it, take it away. But yeah, so the Civic's gonna be going in the bin. Uh, it's gonna be taken away. It's savage. It's whatever. You know, we move. I'd like to get another Civic one day. I really do like these EP2s. It's a bit sad, but I like them. They're good cars. It's exciting. It's just like the Civic's going. It's a big old thing. So it's a it's a good and bad day. It's all good, but it's sad. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me just show you this. So yeah, this is how the Civic's actually looking now. It's not not the best. So obviously all the rear lights are out. Uh, no bumper. Everything's off there. Side skirts are gone. This is the front of the car now. Just everything's stripped just to make it all kind of work. But yeah, you can see everything's completely stripped off. So this is basically ready to go. I've had this car for a while. I've had Civics for a long time. So now obviously we're moving on with the MX and doing, trying to do the drifting stuff. Pretty pointless to most people, but I wanted to take the, the rock cover. Just because I spent a long time, like, this is my first time I ever, like, spent time painting the engine bay. I painted all the rocker cover and all that. I, like, went in extra. Like, I knew how to do it, but I'd never done it. So, yeah, keeping part of the car alive, so, in my heart. <laughs> but, um, yeah, now we just got to wait for the guy to turn up in the truck so I can actually get rid of this thing and do a swap over, have the MX on the driveway so we can get that started. So, I hopefully, we'll come back to you guys next. The Civic is going to be going onto a truck, so. So the MX is now finally on the driveway, Civic's gone, sad times, but it's, uh, it's time to pretty much get started with this. I wanted to look a last burnout in it, but I'm not allowed to do that, I'm going to get told off. This is what it is. <laughs> I think that's just the first thing I want to do, just get the engine out and go from there. Then I've got to take most of the interior out because I've got a bunch of wiring to do, was cutting a weld to get done. So I want to have this engine out um, relatively well by today. My goal is to just have the engine out by today, because I need to test a few things out. Before I can get going anywhere, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start getting this engine stripped down, and then I need to go pick up an engine crane, which currently Cara is gonna let me borrow. Long story, but yeah, car's on the driveway, ready to get started. So it's gonna be sick. Um, C18 DET swap. This is it. This is the start. This is what I've been waiting for. Civic's gone. Right now we've got a new daily. We've got this guy now. So everything's going okay. When the engine's ready to come out, I'm gonna film that too. Get taking the engine out. Don't want to make this video too kind of long and boring, so let's just uh, get that done. Yeah, let's do it. So I forgot to film the process of actually pulling the engine out, and I remembered now the engine's in this state. Always remember to take the shifter off. I forgot to do that, but basically I did it in a real sketchy way, and the engine's nearly out, and I'm just yanking. I'm in a bit of a tight space to do it, but. I think I'm just gonna keep pulling until it comes out, but I need to go this way a little bit without smashing it into everything. Which it is doing. Sketchy. Okay, it's proven to be a task. You just need to pick it up and just spin it over. Yeah. Do you want me to pull the thing back? This bloody bastard confusing me. He don't know what to do. Okay. Woo! Yeah. 
lot. Right, good, good. Oh, okay, this is where I'm going to prop them up. I don't want to go down there. I want to get to see it. I'll put it for the afternoon. Right, so. Oh, oh. There's still a new stretch red lights. No, they're all getting mappers. No love bents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, that's, uh, that's good. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Okay, so the engine's out. Oh, I've got a smooth lens there. Oh, no. So the engine's now out. I keep switching between camera and phone, but the phone's got the fish off, so it's good doing right now. So yeah, engine's out. It's a bit of a mess in there. Oh, Luke, quite bad, eh? Nah, it's, it's all right, mate. It's, it, I've seen worse. Yeah. They come out all right. But somehow we've got to get a CA in here at some point. I guess I forgot to disconnect the clap. Oh, what's that? I broke something. Oh, okay. So I'm going to need a new clutch master line because that's yeah, now broken. Oh well, that's f oh uh, yeah, my clutch master line. That's fine. We can do that anyway. But engine's out, so we're good. I thought I forgot to disconnect the ground wire that I made at the last drift day. Whoops. Apart from that, two things isn't bad to forget it's to kind of disconnect. Right. It, it ripped out bad. fine, yeah. But yeah, engine's out. Now I'm going to cover this up, and I'm going to come back another day because it's been raining constantly. And then uh, we're going to carry on with this, but that's the progress for now. Alright, so I spent yesterday obviously taking the engine out. Engine is currently sat right here, probably out of shot, I don't know. But um, engine's all out. I need to clean the whole engine back up at some point because uh, it's quite a mess under there. But right now I'm going to concentrate on getting all the interior stripped off. So I'll show you what's going on there. So, with regards to the interior, obviously I've got to take the seats out, which are a pain to take out because one seat bolt's like there and the other sits right behind the seat. Um, so that's going to be fun. And then we've got to take the steering wheel off. Which I don't know if it's going to come off that easy at all, but we'll do it anyway. And then we got the whole dash, center console, and everything to take out. The reason I got to take that out was all the wiring and stuff is behind. It sits under there, under the passenger side is the ECU. So I got to do that, and everything just needs to come out so I can actually work on the inside and do all the wiring for the swap. So, but yeah, that's pretty much my plan is to just get the whole uh, interior stripped out, and then as well as the got to take the hard top off, make life easier. But Interior is going to get stripped out. Um, hard top's got to come off to make it easier so seats can come out. Um, so, yeah, my plan right now is to strip the whole interior. And rather than bore you and film it all, normally I chuck some time lapses and stuff in there so we can go ahead and just get that done. Hopefully, it's only going to take two hours, maybe three at most, but who knows? I've never done the whole interior before, just the seats. So, yeah, let's get it done. Okay, since the last bit that I did, which was I don't even know what the last bit was. Oh, it's saying about taking the interior out. It started raining. Now I've got a gazebo out, thanks to Cara. Um, but yeah, thank you. Um, so now I've actually stripped all the interior out. As you can see all the tools down there, but like the carpet is just flopped up on there. The dash is all out. I'm just currently pulling all the wiring through to try and make sense of it all. So I'm doing all of this. So obviously this is the old engine wiring. And then we got stuff for the a uh, headlight um all side lights and stuff so that's for headlights ac um it's all very not fun and it all plugs in somewhere <laughs> but yeah but you get the point so now i'm just taking all the wiring out i'm gonna do that side as well and i will come back when i pulled all the wiring through into the what do you even call that now the inside of the car but yeah footwell, footwell. that's it <laughs> footwell so once i've got that all in a footwell I'll come back. So this is where I'm at now. Um, yeah, I've got this side to pull all through. This is the fuse box. So I'm trying to make sense of that. I'm going to put all of this through. And once that's through, I can do that side. And then, yeah, we'll come back then. <laughs> Whenever you're using the grinder without the safety guard, just keep your head out of the way, all right? <laughs> <laughs> So first of all, uh, right now it don't fit 
<laughs> so it's going good. <laughs> but we're going to persuade some stuff and, and see I'm what we can do. I'm doing the reverse worm. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, 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 hang on. Right. Right, how much further back can we go now if we slide it in? I love this bit. <laughs> Did it get you in your eye? It got me in your eye. Is it attached anywhere? Yeah, here, here a little bit in the corner then. By much or what? Oh yeah, wait, wait one second. You see on that bottom? Yeah, one? yeah, I got it. Sit back Now we see if we can get the engine in. Take this home for a bit of scrap. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you get that? It's got layers, like, a, like an onion, like an ogre. Did you cry? Uh, did you cry? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I thought I'd do a little update on where we're at because Mark's not here at the moment, but I'll cram it in a little bit. So essentially the engine sat in there at the moment. You can see the subframe sort of sits kind of better. Engine mounts need to be made. You see that little kind of bit? It's kind of hanging down. I see the engine mount there. But right now we've got the sump sort of done. We're going to finish doing a pickup and everything. But yeah, the engine's kind of situated. There's a few bits we've got to move around, kind of get the engine to sit where we want it to sit. But first things first, we've got to make like a, a pickup for the actual sump because we've converted it to rear sump, as you've seen. Um, sort of cut round, welded it up. So that's where we're at with that. I'm not doing too much sort of talking side of things when we're doing it because we're trying to crack on and there's a lot to do. One thing that I did do, which is a mistake, shouldn't do, is I jacked the car up. Uh, put it on extra stands and took the hard top off so now the car's a little bit so I'm going to sort that out um, before we weld the car back up I'm going to put it on the floor and level it all out and everything but this is where I'm at at the moment anyway um, a little bit more work to go but we'll get there at some point so nearly there alright so it's now dark out compared to when I showed you what was going on but we have the new oh, that is bad the uh, new pickup for the sump going on here so originally obviously it bolted on where that bolt is there and just comes up but now Marks extended it all the way along, put that piece on there, and it pretty much sits it exactly the same height. The so the welding's in the dark, the welding was in the dark, right? Okay, so that <laughs> I'll film that bit, yeah. Yeah, film that bit, I'll film that. <laughs> um but yeah, so we're gonna come back at it tomorrow because it's too late to keep carrying on. Uh we're gonna get a little arm 
from there to there and then just go over the sump again make sure everyone's good and then um we can bolt the sump up and after that and we're pretty much Sweet, there mate. so yeah. can have a ca powered mx5 it's gonna fucking let's get it So I don't know where I'm at in the filming process of this whole car, but taking everything apart, it's all rotten along here. So we got to replace it. But the only thing I find to replace it was actually a Mark II piece because uh, Mark kindly let me cut it out and use it. So this is one out of a Mark II. That's one out of a Mark One. Nothing actually lines up. So everything's been custom made and cut and, and whatnot properly to make it all fit. But I'll show you the other side to show what we've done over there. On this side, we had rust holes everywhere and on the actual chassis rail, I had to cut the piece out that curves round and we put a new piece in, patched all the way up. That's just all tiger seal to seal it all in. So it's all ground back, primed up, painted. So we're gonna be under sealing all of that. And to show you what's going on exactly there, I'll show you the other side. So that's what they normally look like, just the curved piece in there. Um, obviously we changed that side because it was rotted out. Um, I don't think we're going to do the same on that side there, but this side's done, so I'll come back to you when that's all, yeah, when this is all welded in, we'll do the process and get it all in there, so. So the ground is a little bit messed up, there's only one way to start it, you have to kind of So now we gotta replace this whole piece with the whole Mark II piece, which kind of works. Works good. Like that. So Mark II parts do work on a Mark I with a lot more work than normal. 